Yas, hey, Yas, 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 where's hey, Chucks, with my in the studio. We should have some new listeners in today. Okay. I put it on IG. Y'all better be here too, my IG followers. I know y'all mess with me though, on the lightweight side. You know what I'm saying? But, um, so what's up though? We got work late Wednesday today. Indeed. And I wrote a poem today for y'all. It's gonna be something nice. It was inspired by this story we talked about today about Walter Scott. So, you know, we about to get it going. We gonna keep it light, but keep it real at the same time. Y'all know how it is. Yeah, we gonna mix it up for y'all today. We got a real good, real interesting topic. We want input from y'all. We want feedback. Don't play around with these phone lines. Hit the phone line, 419-448-2200. Get it out early, because you might not get a chance. <laughs> All right, it's about to be a go. So, you don't want to introduce the topic to him on the early side? Avery? Who can? That's Randy's side. That's not, yeah, everybody's all looking at me. Dude, I don't do anything that got to be on top of us. All right, go ahead and introduce him up. Yeah, man, but we have a, uh, a case that just happened, or um, an incident. The man named Walter Scott, um, April 4th, he was shot and killed by a cop um, South Carolina. in South Carolina. He was shot, um, there was eight eight shots fired off. I think it was hit. Hey, I'm getting ready to watch this video. I don't even know if I want to watch it right yeah, now. Man, it's, you never seen the video? No, I ain't seen it. Yet. Oh, this, no. The video is really graphic. Yeah, oh, so no. If you haven't seen it, go look it up. It's yeah. ridiculous. Oh, I, might, I might have some choice words, so I'm going to wait till we go on break. So, yeah, wait to watch this video. Break, so. watch it, man. You know what? Well, yeah, I got to relax. Shout out to uh, me and Robin. We threw some good bangers on today. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But Robin came with some crazy bangers. And she said she got a little stuff for my mom's, too. You know, she said she got something for the old folks, the older folks. So, if y'all hear these bangers, just know that it's there. You know what I'm saying? But we got a lot of stuff for the young people, too. Some nice stuff we are. I don't know, man. We had to we had to refresh our music selection. I don't know, man. It's crazy right now. We looking at this stuff. We all here turned yeah, up. Yeah, it's crazy than this ever been. Yeah, yeah you know what I'm saying. I feel like we got we got more music than 107.9. The only, the only thing they play is Trap Queen. We so, right. so, <laughs> so we got to hear the other thing. We got to. I feel like we got to hear the other thing. 1079 and 93.1. Put us in the middle of the tournament, and we we are making happen. On anything. And we doing it out here from Tiffin. So Tiffin, man. In front of Lee Harvard. In front of sharks, and we'll have everybody over oh, there. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> right, right. Y'all hollering. All right, we're going to go ahead and just drop some of these bangers real quick. And then get, it, get back into this, uh, the topic for y'all so y'all can hear about what's going on in today's world. So, somebody sign us on. We're out of here. Birds and the bees, y'all. We'll be right back. Oh. Oh. We're, we're back on like right now. Can I get Yeah, y'all thought I was about to hit that. Ah, uh, <laughs> we knew you were about to catch that. Uh, I, I was waiting too, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh, Avery. Yeah, maybe I'm gonna hit it next time. Next time the banger come on, I'm I'm gonna hit it for y'all. Can they, they catch us listen? I mean, did they catch us singing the other day? They didn't even listen, did they? I don't think they was here uh, when DJ Fake Y'all ain't missing much, man. And, we, hey, wow, you crazy. Y'all ain't missing much. They seen on my snap though. We was me and Abe was we catching the bike. vocals. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but uh. Yeah, let's get into uh, this uh, the Walter Scott thing we were uh, we were gonna bring up before we got into our soft break. Well, it was a story. So uh, it was in South Carolina. Uh, there was a, a man. I'm not sure exactly how old he was. He was older. Fifty years old. Fifty years old. Uh, yeah, he was fifty years old, and the, he was uh, a cop stopped him because his, he had a, a false tail, like they said, or his tail was out, and uh, they said that he got out the car to run from the police officer because he was behind on child support payments. So, and he, you know, if you're behind on too many, you're going to go to jail. So he wasn't trying to go to jail. And the, he, all you see the video, they caught him on camera, the cop on camera, taking like a picture. I mean, there was a, there was a, there was a guy on camera, like video recording the cop and Walter Scott's confrontation. So all you can see is Walter Scott turn around and run from the cop. And the cop just, he stands there, he doesn't pull out his taser, he doesn't pull out his... He don't chase him. He doesn't chase him, man. he doesn't try anything, he doesn't pull out his cuffs, he doesn't, you know what I'm saying, he doesn't even move, he doesn't even start walking. The guy was running really slow, actually, like, he looked like he was just unathletic, you know, he was, he was older, guy get, he just got into his 50s, he looked like, you know, he was worn down, he couldn't run for real, he wasn't athletic, and the guy, the cop didn't even try, after, you know, he just straight pulled out his gun and shot eight times. 
It looked like the first three might have missed him, or the guy just maybe his adrenaline was pumping. He didn't feel it. Right. But then you can see what he got hit. Yeah, you can see like after after that, like after like the the like fifth or sixth shot came in, like you know you can see his back, like you know what I'm saying. He just like you know what I'm saying. He just arched his back like he was like he felt the shots in his back, and then he shot two more as he hit the ground, and then the cop, you know, he walks over to him slowly and tells him to put his hands behind his back in the freeze. You know, the man at this point with eight shots, you know what I'm saying? I'm not sure yeah. exactly how many times he's going to freeze. But this man, times. you know what I'm saying? This man is, is dead. He's laying face down in the grass. And the guy caught it all on camera. There was a, I'm not sure who the cameraman was. That was probably perfect. not that was perfect. trying to tell who it was. But, you know, he just caught it all on camera. And after the cop shot him, he looked up and seen that somebody was yeah, recording him. You know what I'm saying? And I, I figured at that point he knew, like, okay, y'all done messed up here. You know what I'm saying? He didn't try to chase him. He didn't try anything. But yet, he still, you know what I'm saying? He went to, to tell me that he, he felt as if his life was threatened. And that the guy tried to pull his taser out and um and attack him. Mm -hmm. So after he shot the guy, he uh walks over to him. You know, he says, there were shots fired, shots fired on his, uh, on his radio. And he dropped the taser next to the man, you know, like trying to set up... Uh, you know the whole thing like the guy actually pulled his taser out of his pocket or out of his holster and tried to tase the cop when he was actually running from him so he tried to set him up and and basically the guy with the with the footage you know he made it backfire so the guy has been apprehended now and they're they're saying he's going to get uh yeah, charged charge with, charge with, murder. with murder but that's not even the worst part about it see we got on uh, we looked up the story, CNN. Yeah, CNN. This is the worst. This is what this is what happened. As soon as I, 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 I saw know. about the, I uh, heard about the story up through Twitter, and um, the first link I click on is the video, and um, it it in, in it, it has like a screenshot of like, like what they were talking about on CNN, and it says breaking news: white police officer charged with black man's murder. I looked at that headline and thought like, wow, like what type? Who was in charge of? Of writing this, like this was the worst thing they could have said. It's like promote is making it a race issue off top. And this is CNN here. for anything. This is CNN. This is one of the most highly respected news uh, media's out there, and they putting out stuff like that, um, instigating a, a race issue. You know what I'm saying, it, of course, it's going to be race because it's it's two different victims. I mean, it's a victim that's black, and you know what I'm saying, but it's an underlying it's an underlying issue. When you put it out there to the forefront for the people to see, you're forming an opinion for them already. And that's no good, man. Y'all heard that, made, that really made me upset when I saw that. Man. Because the media, by by doing that, you know, the media coming out and and all, they bring it into a racial issue off top. You know what I'm saying? By saying there was a black man shot by a white officer, you know, it turns it into a racial issue. You thought, your, your mind get to moving already, man. What what's wrong with using names? These men have names. You know what I'm saying? Walter Scott killed by a police officer. What's wrong with that? You know what I'm saying? Why couldn't you just say that in the in the headline or the police officer's that. name. But and, or the police officer. It really doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? Don't just use those two things, those two um descriptive things with all this action that's been going on, man. Mm -hmm. There's been a lot of a lot of bad things going on as far as race goes. And if you really just add to the fire, it's not, it isn't helping anything at all. Exactly. And they they know what they're doing, man. They did it all on purpose, man. It's all in wording. They do this for a living. And they they they're articulate, man. They know what they're doing with their words. And they know what they did. They, they phrased it like that on purpose. They want you to think like that. And that's the media's problem. They try to sway your opinion on events like this, stuff like this that happens to get an uprise out of people. You know what I'm saying? Like to, uh, I'm not sure exactly what the what the what their uh, motive is with this. I, I, we figure that is they want people to turn it into a racial issue because of how this happened. You know what I'm saying? But you know the intentions. You know what I'm saying? Are, are really unknown as to why. The reporter would report it as black man killed by white cop. You know what I'm saying? That just turns it from uh, from one situation into another, or make it some into something bigger. You know what I'm saying? That's all. I'm saying because it's it's ridiculous, man. Like when we were talking about the about it in the room yesterday, and I was thinking to myself, like, why would you even? Of course, like I said, underlying is going to be an underlying issue anyway because it's already you have two um, people of different races, so why, everybody's going to think that. But when you put it out there to the forefront, you got people thinking negatively. Oh man, that cop's racist, man. I can't believe we got another racist cop shooting somebody or something like that. Being police brutality because he's a because it was a black guy. When that couldn't even have been the case. It could have been a dumb cop. You know what I'm saying? He could have had a, white, a black wife all you know. You know what I'm saying? He could have just been an idiot. 
But when you put it out there for the for the people to see, you're forming an opinion for it. You know what I'm saying? Let the people make up their mind before you before you sit there and feed them some nonsense already. That's my point. Hey, look, man, I, I'm sitting here just reading this reading this article, and it's, it's just making me sick, man, because I, I can't really believe that, like, I mean, like, it's, to me, it's worse, it's worse than Ferguson, it's worse than Trayvon Martin, because you, you see, you watch the video, and you see this, like, like, it, it he took, he, he ran from him, he was run, running real slow, it was so much other, other things the officer could have did, he could have chased him, he could, he could have, like, he wasn't running that fast, he could have clearly caught him, officers chase dudes all the time, so I, I just don't understand, like, what was stopping him from running instead of just pulling out your gun and shooting him? And then the crazy part about it was they're saying he stole his taser. If he stole your taser, why is he running away from you? Exactly. Like, what, what sense does that make? Like, he running away from you, but he got his taser. He got your taser. Like, what? Doesn't make any sense. What are we, what are we and talking it came, about, it came bro? up as, a, as a, that the cop was, um, he was... Telling stories, man. Because, he was um, lying, bro. Like, I'm saying, like, he, he, they, they, they were around. Juicy yelling around. No, I <laughs> got juice upset, man. It, it, it just makes me real upset. Juice, man. What happens when everybody else in the room except juice? It made me real upset, yeah, man. Like, he was just like, wow, man. No, nah, man, but it, and he told a lot because they, as the video goes on, you can see him place the taser down by the body as in, as in setting him up. You know what I'm saying? As in saying, he, that, he tried to steal oh, my he tried taser. to steal my taser. That's why I reacted this way. No, that didn't happen. You were just an idiot. You know, oh my gosh. This situation is just messed up as a whole. I can't take this, man. I'm talking about this is ridiculous. Wow. Right. Is it time for my comments? Yeah, go ahead, Avery. I'm the man. Um, All right, we get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> I am the man that hates the media probably more than anything else in life. Um, I restrain myself from uh, looking up CNN and stuff. Um, I restrain my mother from watching uh, CNN or getting information from it because I feel like, um, just like what Randy said, um, they are basically a fluke, um, a fluke news source. You know, say what you want. Not you know, necessarily fluke, but it's, it's biased. But, you know, let me get to what I'm about to say and why I say it's fluke. Go ahead, okay? bro. Because of the fact that they, CNN literally does their, does their absolute best to turn everything racial. For example, if um, everybody has this uproar about this now about about the whole thing about um, about they say black you know black guy I mean mama, yeah black you know black guy shot by a white cop, but what about when the guy got hung from the tree in Mississippi, which I'm still mad about and everybody forgot all about it and got swept under the rug by CNN by everything else, but nobody said anything about that. So it said um, the first thing it said on there was black guy hung from black guy hung from tree. This is not. And we repeat, this is not a racial issue. That's what they said on CNN. How? So what does that mean? So Randy, explain this to me. How? What does that do to, to society again? What does that do? If it wasn't racial, why, why, why didn't they shoot him? Why did they stab him? You're making their why mind up for him already. It's doing what? Making their mind up for them already. Then you got to think about how they killed him though, bro. Like, that's what I'm saying. Like, if it's not racial, why? You could have shot him. You could have stabbed him. You could have, like... But, strangled in the devil. I mean, you can, it's a lot. It's a lot of ways to kill people. But, but you chose to hang this man. Yeah. So, also, um, there are a lot of factors that play into that. He was, he was a black guy hung from a tree from the noose in Mississippi. And there's a lot to get his criminal record. And that justifies it, right? I was going to get to that. And CNN does a great does. job of also what Randy said, um, making you choose a side, whether or not you feel like each person is right or wrong, because there's always a right or wrong side. We know that. Right. But CNN does a great job because they want to depict everybody's um, criminal background. So like they did about Walter Scott and how they talked about yeah, his criminal background child and child support and that's regard and four kids. Okay. He's like the guy from Mississippi sat up here and he was um, and he was convicted for four years for, um, for um, Martin a murder. For, he was convicted for four years for a murder charge and they threw all that in and they made sure that you know he was going to get demined by the whole society as a whole and you guys still sit up here you guys still listen and you guys still sit up here and you guys do what you got to do to CNN because of CNN. But my thing is, where's the stop? And you guys may sit on here, you might, and when we discuss in the room, you guys may sit on here, you guys may think that, okay, well, it's just a black and white case, and this is what they do all the time on CNN. No, they do it the black, white, purple, Muslim, they That's just they don't care, you. they want entertainment. When it came down to the Boston Marathon shooting, the first thing they said was, a Muslim person is, is one of their 
what was it? Suspects. Suspect, yeah. Was one, one of the suspects. suspects. Right. Was one of the suspects. They said the co-conspirator was a Muslim person. Was a brown Muslim American. Those are their words and nobody had anything to say about it. Just like when we sat in the room and the president sat up here and just like slavery, they got used to the subject. So therefore, they're going to get used to it as a whole. We sit here, we keep hearing them, the five people and the script people as these descriptions, they were going to get used to it. Not me. So I'm going to sit up here and keep watching them and keep feeding it to their BS entertainment. It's just not worth it. And it's not entertainment. That's the, that's the point, man. It's new. These, these people's lives you're talking about. Like, it, like people dying about, like... Because dying. because what everybody seems to forget is that CNN and Fox News and everything else, they're still a TV show and they still get ratings. That's what everybody forgets. Indeed. So when you want to sit up there and you want to follow all the news castings and you want to say, oh, this is crazy, or oh, Wayne Dawson said this, that, and the third, Wayne Dawson wasn't going to say anything to that white lady that sat up here and said Jigaboo music because of the fact that he's still going to get his paycheck. That's why. I'm not going to hold my tongue. I'm not going to sit up here and feel any kind of way about it because it is what it is. People still going to sit up here and they still going to do what they got to do with CNN. They still going to do what they got to do with Fox News. Still going to do whatever they got to do. They still going to sit up here and let people get defiled by sitting up here and get and get described as black man and white cop instead of using their whole entire names. It's going to stop when you guys decide to let it stop. The media is still a form of entertainment regardless. Man, don't even get me started. Yeah, man. They got the wrong ass, man. They got, they got, they got, they got, they got fair kind of movement. Oh, oh, man. Man. It's too much. No, they got me mad, man. man. You know what I'm saying, man? Got me mad. And yeah. I'm pretty sure, let me not even say, I'm pretty sure it's going to sit up here and going to get swept under the rug in about a month. Okay. We're going to forget all about it. That's just what's going to happen because that's what the media oh, does. Oh, another case of pop up, man. That's what you the know, media know, does. Man. But no, man, look, Honestly, man. man, it's one thing after another, for real. It really is. The media is dividing us for us. Hey, man, I got a quote right here. I just pulled it up, man. From a man named Malcolm. The media is the most powerful entity on earth. They have the power to make the innocent guilty and to make the guilty innocent. And that's power because they have the, the control of the minds of the masses. They have control, man. They are so was, that not, of so was, so was that not what I was just saying for real? Yeah, young Malcolm. It's crazy because of the fact that I'm a young dude like this and older people can't even still get the fact. They can't even do it. Man, my grandma told me a long time ago, and I never listened to her about the media, about the news. And I got it because she said it indirectly. She said, why is everything we get on Fox News, the first thing they talk about is somebody got shot in Cleveland. That's the first thing they talk about. Why? Because they want to get you tuned in and say, where by my neighborhood did somebody get shot? Am I wrong? Very true. Are they want to stay there through it, and that's why they keep showing through the Empire commercials. Where I watched Empire in the finale, and they kept talking about how a girl got shot by Glenville School, and they kept doing it over and over. It's the only thing you're talking about. It's all about entertainment. It's all about how they're going to sway you. It's all about how they're going to do all that. It makes no entire, it, it makes no sense, period. Like, 19 National News probably worse. They always they bring up for a split second. They say, oh, yeah, we got a breaking news story, so and so, so and so, and then they go to a commercial break. Just like that. They want you to they go to a commercial break because they want you to stay in tune for the next. Uh, Thirty minutes or whatever, so that they're going to be talking about it. They talk about it at the end of the uh, at the end of the show. They, 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 the reason why is because they want those ratings. It's all about ratings, and it know. works because they're sucking everybody in. Oh, what happened? You feel me? So what's, right, the, what's the first thing y'all do, y'all? If y'all Twitter or something like this, y'all can go, y'all can go to little search bars, and y'all gonna type in CNN and see what they say on it. And see some nonsense. And regardless of what they they're gonna post, there's still people that're gonna post what they want to post. That's what I'm saying, man. Like when you say what they want to say. It was it was wild to me because I, when I I saw that headline and I looked at it that way, but I text I just right there I text my girlfriend and I say yo man what you think of this headline girlfriend girlfriend <laughs> yeah man I text, text my girl that the headline and stuff you know what I'm saying and she had no reaction to it she just said oh wow yeah man y'all should talk about it on the show that's wild I said I didn't ask you I said what do you think of the name of, what do you think of the title of this headline she don't she's like oh I don't give her you I don't give her you um where you aiming at what you talking about look. Because that's the fact that she just used to what she's saying. I had. I'm saying, bro. I know me. You're taking it in. It works. It works, man. It works. You out here is is you're oblivious to it because it happens every day. But you gotta, you gotta, you gotta know what's going on out here, man. Exactly. They're trying to trick us, and you can't go for it, man. Don't see her and feed into the. Look, man. My mom sat up here, and my mom is telling me that um, I'm talking too fast. <laughs> and, uh, bro, she said I'm I'm talking too fast. And I'm speaking with a lot of hostility in my voice. Well, um, one of my brothers in this booth, let me ask you this. Did y'all understand everything I said? Oh, yeah, we did. Yeah. Man. Loud, loud and clear. Everybody else texts my phone. They're saying, Avery, you're completely right. And this subject making me so mad. Now, to get to my second point, my mom said, you're speaking with a lot of hostility in your voice. How could I not? 
That's a very good question. Let me, let me ask that. There's no way, bro. I'm talking about like when I, I mean when I just sat up here, watched the video, and then read this article, bro. Like that, it, I, he he even said it, bro. Like I never yell in here, but now I'm yelling today <laughs> because this don't make no sense, bro. It's just crazy. Like, like the the video itself is crazy, and then the whole. It, to be honest, we wouldn't even got on this subject. We would have got on it and touched it as like a, um, a current event. His excuse. But it makes us even more excuse. mad. It makes us even more mad when we saw the CNN title. That just, that just, it's all about divide and conquer. And that's what they did. And that's what they did individually. That's what they right continue on. to do. That's the problem. That's People what know, I mean, we, we, we in the communications building right now, as we sit in the studio, I'm telling you, they probably teach classes on stuff like this. They it's all about titles. It's all about like, you, you, I mean, you know how to persuade people. Like, that's what it's all about. So when they use stuff like that, they that's how it works. It gets people, it gets into people's minds, and they don't they think about it like 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 he was just saying. It, it went right over Lisa's head. Yeah. I mean she, I mean she thought of, I mean she like she didn't she thought of nothing of it. So it was all, I mean so it, it was like, wow man. I'm saying this is how they you know this is how they twist your thoughts and this is how they want you to think. Just like you know, you guys got to come to these news sources and come to everything else in life with an open mind and see it from a different perspective like we were talking about the other day when it came down to the Duke Noose thing or whatever and the right. player and whether or not the player would play that night right. or whether or not he would you gotta look at it from a different perspective even if you wanna sit up here and say wow and you look at it and you say okay okay hold on okay, we'll call we'll call I didn't really expect that but uh, you know, made it. birds and the bees what's happening? yeah what's going on y'all what's going on um let me, let me just Alright, let me take this real slow. Um, you gotta take it slow, there's no way to Please, please. Here's the thing. I totally agree with y'all. I feel just as much hostility in the thing. Um, I, I am appalled at the actions of such a public and powerful entity. But that being said, realistically, this debate in itself is fueling their vehicle. You know, man, the fact that we are here speaking on it, how terrible of a story it was. In fact, y'all probably said CNN 60 times already. So, for example, somebody who, who didn't look up the CNN article, right, they're going to go look it up now. You know, the, the, the hits on the CNN website are, are going to rise a little bit now. You know, and that's that's partially what they what's wrong with modern civil rights. You know, the the movement is like okay, let's go old civil rights. Mm -hmm. And only you shut something down, we stop buying into it. Of course. Modern civil rights. We are tuned into it so we can do our research. Once we are tuned into it, they got what they need anyway. They, they don't care they, we, what happens out there. They don't care if we debate, if we have this conversation. They, they, it, doesn't, it doesn't matter to them one way or the other. Because the fact that they made that awful headline, that made you guys, me, and everyone else go and log on and, and, and figure out, you know, what was it saying? What are the exact words? Let me read the whole article. Let me see the video. Let me do all these things, all these things through CNN for the most part. And feel them a little bit more, you know. So, I, like I said, I definitely feel, you know, just as strong about it as you guys. And for the purpose of y'all show, you know, I want to give one, one, you know, sort of form of advice without coming with mm -hmm. a solution. And that's why I wouldn't say let's not talk about it because the topic does need to be heard and does need to be discussed for awareness purposes, but. As far as us helping them, I just, I don't even know where to begin. You know, it's like we don't have that strong leader anymore how we used to have. Um, we don't have none of that. Uh, I, I had wrote a piece a while back. Um, it was called I Wish. And one of the lines were like, it, it, it goes so perfect for how our modern day civil rights movement is. You know, it was like, I wish. Um, Jesse Jackson, you know, realized that he he um he would never be a king. All he did was stand next to her while he died and then still his dream. 
You know what I'm saying? Like these modern day civil rights leaders that we have are 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 nothing but media boys and and um you know they're perpetuating you know the 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 sluggish notion of the the current movement. You know, it's like the movement is not going to see up because we've been watched even by our own people, by our own elders, to believe in these in these guys as the leaders. But when when does Al Sharpton show up for the case that won't make the news? You know what I'm saying? When when do when do these these major guys show up? For the, for the cases that CNN doesn't talk, don't talk about, you know, it's... They'll never do it, man. It's all for publicity, man. It's all publicity. Doing what we're doing. Exactly. They're all PR guys, man. PR guys with, PR guys with suits. You know, a lot of people, a lot of things blew up. You no know, way yeah. he made, like, that 10-minute track at the end of, like, Carter's video or something. Yeah, you yeah. talking about at the end of Misunderstood? Yeah, yeah. Banger. Yeah, at, the, at the end of Misunderstood. And a lot of things blew up for him. Honestly, I loved it. I totally agree. I I dislike those guys because those guys did nothing but fall into the shadows of the real great. And like what I said about still his dream, all he did was use King for for Apple. Yeah, I was King's right hand man. You know, I'm like I was right there leading me with him. Okay. Maybe you were, maybe you were, that was a long time ago, and realistically, you're not making what you move forward now. Exactly. You know, you're 50. And then what one what, of us stepped into that role? You know, it's too many fears about the young, you know, it's like, these kids don't know anything. They don't present themselves right. They're too radical. We can't have that in modern times. Okay, well, realistically, we're not going to go anywhere there. We're just going to continue to be sitting there having these conversations amongst each other, wishing, you know, and hoping that that, that some sort, sort of change, you know, will, will occur. Well, Andre, I agree, but I feel like um, the first step is acknowledging it because of the fact that there are some people out here who didn't even see that or didn't even hear about it. Or just like Randy said, his, yeah, he, you know, agrees, he agrees friend. with the awareness. Yeah, no, no, I know that, but what I'm, saying is, what I'm saying is there are people out here who didn't even, you know, in, you know, no, my bad. They even saw it, but they just see the way we saw it. Right. So I'm saying, you know, it's all about acknowledging it too, and that's why I say, you know, I do agree with what he said about, you know, he, how he agreed with the acknowledgement. Yeah, you yeah. Know, but like we that's still give them money. They making money, yeah, but I mean, it's like at the end of it. Right. I would hate if I tuned in the y'all show and y'all didn't speak about it. Exactly. And that's why I said, you know, I, I can't even offer any advice of a change to make because it's like, it's almost like we're trapped. You know, it's like if we don't speak about it, that's what they want because they can let it fade away. And if we do speak about it, that's what they want because now those ratings go up. You know, so it's like at, at the point that we're at, we're in a, a, a lose lose battle. You know, and they, and like, they win regard, and they win regardless. Exactly. I see what you're saying, man, but right. we had no option. We had no other choice but to sit here on these exactly. airways and talk about it. You know what I mean? That's the only way that this is going to change. Us being silent about it and simply it's having our reason. conversations within our rooms is, is fucking more than it's hurting. It's hurting. Just like how we talk about the dude thing and the, the whole domino effect. Right. Things that need to be done. Like, for example, I don't know, we're pretty much all y'all from Cleveland. Right. Um, recently, I think it was this past weekend, uh, Bashir Jones hosted a walk. He did. Um, it was like a march, like a big march. It was supposed to be like 10,000 people. It was supposed to be crazy, and they were supposed to march through certain parts of the inner city of Cleveland. Mm -hmm. Now, I'm going to be very politically correct in my next statement because in the line of work that I'm in now, I can't afford to offend anybody. But I totally disagree with that whole event. And my reasoning being, we're not going to make any change for example, by walking through our own, you know, or marching through our own terrible neighborhood. The change comes when you march through the mayor's neighborhood, right, right. the governor's neighborhood. When you start, when you get 10,000 black people in their suits to go and march through those neighborhoods and go cause that disruption, you know, go go with your, with your chant and your hymns and your signs and post up outside of, you know, the mayor's house or, or the governor's house because 
you're marching down, you know, down a street where everybody's poor, everybody's broke, and nobody has any power. Nothing's gonna change. Yeah, it is a beautiful thing that we can gather these ten thousand black people together to march for for a purpose as a one unit. It is a terrible choice of of location. It is a terrible choice, you know, of of the target that they shot at. You know, and I feel like that those type of things can be directly translated to a case like this. Okay, when Kit, when Kitty, all the colleges was doing their march. Okay, all that stuff is cool. Well, how, why can't, if we can gather 10,000 people in Cleveland to go march, why can't we gather 10,000 black people outside of CNN headquarters? Okay. It's, and not tune in. Let's not tune in. Let's just show up. Right. Let's not, let's not make the ratings go up. Let's just show up at the door. You know what I'm saying? My mom said, Oh no! Right? No, 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 no. I feel you though, like, man. We, we, we definitely, if there's anybody here, we do. We feel you. We know about all this, bro. Exactly. Like, we really want to sit up here. Like, we really want to make a change. We want to talk about making change. Like, okay, what would we do here? What would we do at this point? What would we do then? It's definitely us. But not all right. But then again, this point, I love the two hours that y'all are giving. But we we need to do things like like we need to get together and, and start doing some stuff like. Okay, sponsored by Birds and the Bees, but this bigger than, than the two hour slot they give us, you know, not in prime time. Right. Let's, mm-hmm. let, we need something that, that's big where it's like, okay, we're going to bring these people together. We're going to do some of this. We're going we gonna to go stand outside of Fox 8 until we get somebody to come outside and answer our questions as to why they portray the news like this. You know, until we get somebody to come out there with our own camera, man and stumble over their words because they can't figure out what they should say to us. Mm-hmm. Just like, okay. for example of that, just like, you know, how our show started is how we wanted everybody to feel as if it, you're in a room with all four of us and you and feel like, you know, we just speaking our mind about topics that happen every day. We, we were doing this before we even had the show. So therefore, we want the birds and the bees to extend more than just our school year. I'm pretty sure we're gonna be in Cleveland doing the same thing. We're trying to get we're trying to get like internships so we can have our own radio show and do things such as that. And do something positive for you know for the community rather than always holding it down. I'm, I'm definitely with it, man. I, I I'm like I'm so only like I'm so sick of the like anybody who knows me, only person who can really go to me is Kim Bill. I've I've always tried to take any opportunity I had as far as the, the public stand or public stage and speak about my people. If you can even ask anybody, I've, I got literally in my notepad, my digital notepad, I got like 500 points. <laughs> literally, if you have ever seen me perform or ever come to see me perform, I would say probably 99% of the people that I choose to perform, and I write about everything, are pro black. Uh, you know, and, and they're about our progress or how we're, you know, because if I get the stage, I'm going to give you all some of that. You know, I'm not going to get this, be on the stage and then switch up. You know, I'm not going to sell out and be like, all right, I'm up here. I got I got a thousand people who, who, who came to see this performance and now I'm about to spit a poem about, about roses and sunshine. No, it's cool. Yeah. Somebody out here ain't gonna like what I'm saying, but I'm gonna tell y'all what it is, you know, and that's what I'm all about. Like, if y'all want to do anything, if we can get together and do anything, I'm all. Exactly, bro. It's all about taking the opportunity. You don't got no choice, man. Went under the rug. Every single thing. It's like, people don't realize how big these issues are. Even the ones that make it big get swept under the rug. You know, Trayvon Martin, yeah, that case lasted for a while, and now you don't really hear about it. Right, ain't nobody you know, it, that case was just going on, and you already don't really hear about it. That's what I'm saying. That lasted probably like three, four, three, four five weeks. Like, it, not even. But you already don't hear about it. It's like, like I told a guy, a guy approached me, um, with some ripples and this program he was trying to start. And I try not to be disrespectful or shoot nobody's things out. But this guy is like, I want you to take one of my ripples and the movement I'm starting is when you see a form of like police brutality or something like that, blow the whistle to make sure that they are aware. 
And I literally, I was in the barber chair getting the line up. And I stood up and like stopped my haircut and told him, no, that's totally ridiculous. <laughs> and I was like, it's not that. I said, for once, if I do blow that whistle, we are literally in the society we were there, I just became a target. Exactly. But number two, <laughs> that was the first time I ever did that. Yeah. Like, would make no difference. And then I threw him cases like Eric Garner. Like, do you think they care if they, if we, if they know that people are watching? They knew that those people were right there with their phones, right there, taking those videos. They don't care who's watching. They are above the law, and that's just the way it is, you know. We, a whistle is not going to change that. If I blow a whistle, they might get mad that I'm not just recording them silently, and, and then I'm the next person being recorded. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, we understand. Exactly. But if we're not going to be progressive, I'm not going to shake your head for a terrible deal. You know, I'm not going to be like, thank you for this awful deal. I'll take your whistle and throw it in my cup holder. I'm not even going to let you walk out of here with that mindset. Right, right. Thinking, right. Thinking, that's a, thinking that's a good idea. You throw that joint away, man. Right. Another. Exactly. No, we understand exactly what you're talking about. And you hit you hit the point perfectly. Even my mom was saying that she agreed with what you was talking about. Yeah. And we need to uh, do something if we feel that passionate about, you know, what's going on in today's world, and to spread awareness and, and do other things like that. You know what I'm saying? To shut down the media from what they are trying to do and how they are trying to portray everything about the black man and uh, or what's going on uh, with white versus blacks. So I agree with everything you're saying, bro. Yeah, but, you know, I'm still with you, and I'll finish out the show with y'all. All right, bro. I have the show, bro. All right, appreciate it, homie. Yeah, but, you know, you got you to gotta take a stand. You know, the first step is always, you know, acknowledging and, you know, and thank, thank God, thank whoever you want to thank that. The fact that um, us four boys do have a show like this, and we can't express our opinions, whether good or bad or indifferent. We're still expressing it, and that's the first step we've always acknowledged. That's what it's all about, man. Yeah, man. Taking the opportunity to do something positive. You got a platform like this, you don't got no choice but to talk about real stuff. You got a platform like this, you have no choice but to talk about real things. Exactly. That's what it's all about. Like my old girl called from where, uh, what's she called from? BW? BW, man, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Talked about the things that she was doing over there, some real positive stuff. You know what I'm saying? I hope she's keeping that up over there, too. Yeah. But we want to hear, you know what I'm saying? Aubrey called in and gave his piece on it. If y'all got it, some uh, words of enlightenment toward it, I'm saying call in 419 No, 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 no. See, y'all ain't got a choice now because y'all know. <laughs> yeah. We, we, made, we made it clear. We made it aware. We made it clear, man. If y'all don't know by now, y'all need to. Y'all so that's know. what I'm saying. So, yeah, hey, ain't no hiding. Steps. Stop texting Avery <laughs> and call. Yeah, yes. man. 419-448-2200. We're going to go to break real quick, man. We've been on the air for a minute. No, oh, man. Somebody signs out of here. Birds and the bees, y'all. We'll be right back. What's up, everybody? You're locked in to the Birds and the Bees, live from Heidelberg University on WHEI 88.9. And I think it's like a cool moment to tell them that we never cross that line with our friends, bro. We never told them, but still my friends, bro. You know, we just, we just didn't overstep that boundary. You know, we didn't want to go up in Cause you know, you have situations where a guy breaks up with a chick, she's around, and then another guy sees her someplace. Plus, it was never a, a boundary that we stepped over. The, the, the world has two women in it. That's the kind of cross some type of boundary or something like that. Hey, that's, that's true though, man. I mean, I mean, like, y'all just had like, a, like you know, it was, it was about loyalty at the end of the day. No, 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 yeah, I, hold on. I mean, I mean, you know, I know that I'm seeing the ladies are going to call in and uh, give them their perspective about it. But for me, strictly, for me and my friends, it was always about that letter. So we, we knew each other, we met each other before we met um, our significant others, for the most part. So a lot of times, you know, you meet somebody, and you know, they'll be relatively attractive, and they might be attractive to some of your friends. You know, we were talking to each other all the time. Oh, man, she's cute. Blah, blah, blah. But, you know, you know, we just don't play that because we usually they come up around here. We were with each other as far as being friends are concerned. I was definitely, man. Okay, yeah, 
thank you. All right, appreciate it. We appreciate it. All right, yeah. All right, I understand exactly what he was saying, but you know what I'm saying? You got to think about it. He, he said there's plenty of females out here. No. But you got to think about it, though. You, as your friends and, and that girl, they, uh, they you know, as they kick it more and stuff, they start to build a bond with each other, you feel me? And then they don't want the other fish in the sea. They feel like they want that fish in the sea at that <laughs> point, you feel me? So it's like, you know what I'm saying? Once somebody wants something, you know what I'm saying? They're not really looking for what's out there. They gonna go for what that's they not, want. That's not smooth though, man. Like, like I, I'm, I'm waiting on this tip. I, you, it's all about your, your friends. You gotta know your friends. So I know my homeboys. You know what I'm saying? It's a COVID me. You know what I'm saying? I'm not gonna go out to my homie girl. You know what I'm saying? Out of respect for him. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't want him doing short, trying to short my girl. So I wouldn't expect the same um, out of him. So I'm just not gonna so what, try to shoot at this guy. So let me, so let me and then on top of that, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, at the end of the day, but at the end of the day, though, bro, if you come down to it, just say something. Right, man. That's all you gotta say. Yeah, yeah. That's all you gotta say. Look, bro, look, bro. I need her. I need her. I need her now. Yeah, man. Just say something. Don't say nothing, and then don't tell me. Like you didn't like that. That would go. That would go for life. I'm saying, but that would go for life. You know, for lack of a better term, any other hoe out here that's trying to get with you. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Any other hoe out here like that, but what I'm saying is, for, for lack of a better term, <laughs> there are also females out here that just go, you know. So I'm saying that, you know, if that's just one of the ones that you just start kicking away, you bring around a squad, those don't matter. And I can see what I'm not talking about those. I'm talking about the ones that you've been yeah, in, man. You I'm talking about the ones that you like. The ones, the ones you go for like a couple years now, y'all rolling. Yeah. I'm talking about those MVPs. But yeah. no, man, it's like I see what we're talking about from the girl perspective, though, because I'm on Kendall side, like. If she can get that close and decide that she want to jump the gun and uh, have a move um, and try to do something with my man's, then Peace. we don't need to hit. Yeah, we don't need to do something. You know what I mean? Like, we don't need to be together at all. But, you know what I'm saying? My my man's is not going to initiate. I know that because I just yeah, know right. him. Right. But we just talking about, but we, but we ain't talking about, like, yeah, like whether, you know, whether or not, like, yeah, of course, because I'm not going to do that to you. But what I'm saying is, hypothetically speaking, if it did happen. You know, like, when would you try to cut the line? You know, like, when would you say, like, okay, well, you know, it's time for both of them to calm down. Like, hey, we just need to delete the leash off kick. Y'all need to talk <laughs> again. That's you know? all you had to do was tell me that. That's all you had to do. <laughs> if he felt like the leash was too close, then he would tell me a long time ago. Now, yeah, what about a situation like, like that? that? Just a soft kick message. Soft kick, man. It's a different situation, though. They knew each other before. They was friends beforehand, you know what I'm saying? I can't really... I mean, I can. I'm a, well, I can. Oh, I can. Say whatever you want to do. do whatever you want to do. But I'm not. I, I don't feel threatened by it. You know what I'm saying? I know it. Be, be my man, my main man, to be great. Uh, that's my girl. I'm saying. I feel like I'm in a predicament where nobody gonna do me dirty. So I'm I chilling. I'm on the tooth side. I'm not about to sit up here and do that. Here we go. Yeah, because I'm not picking my nose. I'm not gonna say something. Look, you never feel threatened before. Someone comes in and takes your girl. I swear. It's just never threatened. It just happens that. Boom, it's swift, and then your girl get chopped. You know what I'm saying? This is it's in the. <laughs> oh no, I didn't see it too many times before. Yeah, <laughs> it's right. like I'm you know what I'm saying. You, you, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. you, you think that you're cool or whatever? You know what I'm saying? And 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 your and to your, your, your to your girl, your friend might just be real appealing. You know what I'm saying? And y'all get into an argument, and that friend's still there for her in those kick messages, talking oh, about. Yeah, and I just, yeah. I'm not trying to shoot no shit. I'm just saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. She, she come to him on some. You know what? I feel like this about Randy blah blah. And then he tell me on some. You know what, man? Randy's a bad guy. He did this last week, and uh, you know what I'm saying. Yeah. I can treat you better than that. Yeah. And then, boom, she's, she's yeah. sad. Randy messed up. She want to get back at you. I don't know how that do stuff him. as yeah. pretty as I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to his friend just because. Yeah. Just because oh, yeah. he, uh, yeah, do you know what I'm saying, he messed up. I even see the well, joke on Twitter. Yeah. You know, the other day, we, they had this, the, you know, little smiley face thing with the jokes. They said, when you, uh, when you start talking to his friend and make him mad, but you really catch feelings. That's you know what I'm saying? It was, it, was, it, was, it, was, it was funny, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, and I seen that, and I know that stuff like that happens, you know what I'm saying? Just like, for example, I got a, dude, I got a great one for you, because I'm about to sit up here and be like, I agree with you, because of the fact it is. I've sat up here, and I've seen one of my best friends, Josh, and he sat up here, and, um, and for uh, another guy, I'm not gonna say his name, uh, he had feelings for Josh's girlfriend of, of about a year and a half, and he sat up here, and every day he tried to shark her, he tried to play the best friend role to her, he was all texting her, he was all, he had the, like a little pet name for her and everything, and Josh has never felt threatened, he never cut her off, I'm like, dude, you need to, you need to do something about this, because of the fact that he was literally like, shooting at her real hard, he should have hit the button, he should have hit, no, 
You said they ended the right No, now. I don't know. I don't no, know. No, no, I'm saying that's what you told Josh, though. You was like, yo, bro, you need to. No, I told you, you need to. No, I told him you need to sit up here and handle it by saying you need to talk to that man and ask him, dude. All you had to do, this was our best friend at the time. Like, we okay. were together every day. Right. So this is just, this is different. Like, you're saying, like, this is crazy. Right. This is just unheard of. So it's like, yo, um, you need to let me know. If you want her, that's all you had to tell me. If she wants you, that's all she had to tell me. And we'll make that happen. Right. Well, that sounds like a Saudi guy. Communication is key. That yeah, sounds like Saudi guy. What I'm saying, is, what I'm saying is, that's better than him sitting up here and just letting his girl get just sharked. Right. And not because we, because girls are sneaky. We don't know if she wasn't going for it or not. We never know. We don't know. But I, but what I do know, I'm gonna speak on what I do know that she was getting shot down real hard. I've seen the text messages and everything. And she was getting sharked. Wow. I'm talking about a game I've never seen before. <laughs> He was pulling out the. I'm talking about he was even pulling out the. Yo, you should come over, man. You know, guys like Friday, you know, you can just. Wow. Chill oh, you know, man. we can watch a movie and I'll make you dinner and, you know, kick it. Sis. Wow. Sis. Oh, I've seen it, it, bro. Oh, bro, bro, bro. He threw the sis in there. So I've seen it, but I'm saying, for right. that, I would never do that to any one of y'all or any one of my dudes. That, and that's cold, that. man. You got you to gotta check your man's at that point. I see yeah. something like that, man. I'm checking. I'm checking whoever off top. I'm saying I don't care. Of I don't care if you're my cousin in jail. Talking about <laughs> <the best guy. laughs> I'm saying we having a we having a real a grown man discussion. You feel me? Like it's it's certain boundaries, bro. And so then at that point, are you becoming from the non-violent Randy to a violent Randy? Yeah. Oh, not, wow. You have this voice of violent Randy. It's like a two different Randys that everybody's just talking about. <laughs> yeah. Would you, you know about Violet Randy? Violet Randy puts on the pop voice. Yeah, and he, and his, <laughs> and he get the he get the flex it and, and then his like veins popping out everywhere. That's that's Violet Randy. That's Bane. That's um Incredible Hulk Randy. Yeah, man. Nobody knows that's how Mike. Honestly, I'll try to I'll try to play the big man role about. I'm gonna talk about. It. Like I said, we have a grown man discussion, and like. Like I said, there's too many girls out here. Bro. I'm saying I'm not about to reach. I'm not about to fight no girl over. I'm not about to fight my cousin over no girl. You feel me? I'm not about to fight my man over no female. Just let me know, bro. That's all you do. Let me know, bro. Exactly. Like it's never let that serious. Like I, I mean, it don't be a situation like you find out. Like they, instead of they don't, they don't tell you. So you find out through social media. You find out through somebody else, and that's where it get bad. Like you be you like, you good, bro. bro. Like you could have told. Like I thought we was cool. Like yeah. you ain't come to me. Show me your body, man. Like now, I feel like you just went behind my back, you know, maliciously. Like it's like, wow. Okay, yeah. Um, no, <laughs> just like I agree. I mean, I really <laughs> agree with Randy's father. There are too many girls right here, so that's why you do is let me know. Exactly. So let me know, man. <laughs> and if you shoot and you fail, that's all on you. I don't know, but I see y'all. Y'all keep y'all saying y'all just trying to shoot it down as a. It's not that serious, I think. Really, you love this girl, you know what I'm saying? You got to talk with her, sir. Oh, we said it since this conversation. this conversation started, it's not that serious. I wouldn't fight him. I just wouldn't do this, or I wouldn't do that. It's not that serious. But you know what I mean? I threw it in there, and I said, I'm talking about the five-year girl you've been with for five what, years. What about the girl you've been with for five months? Five months, if you, uh, depends on how you really feel about it, for real. Yeah. It always depends on that. Because remember, remember when we was in here, we was talking about you can't sit up here and put a time stamp on how you feel about somebody. True. That's what I'm saying. So like, you never really know. City, man. Man. It, don't, it don't matter, man. I feel like the time period really doesn't matter. You know what I'm saying? If I'm with Beyonce, I'm going to be hot about it. <laughs> you know what I mean? Hey, we hey, hey. try to shirt Beyonce. Bro, what's your problem? You get in his face about it. We saw you. Like, bro, it's not going to shirt Beyonce. I'm going to ask Beyonce for Rihanna's number. And then I'm gonna <laughs> <her>. Exactly. That's <laughs> what you should be. <laughs> I mean, we can avoid all this. And we can just, hey, it, it, we can just have a duo, man. We can be some superheroes about it. You know what I'm saying? Back in the we can just shark everybody. Until, 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 you know what I'm saying? He's I, a I'm just saying though, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, exactly. Beyonce, you shoot with them. You crazy example. You know what I'm saying? Beyonce and Rihanna, would you not dab me up? I would only have to. Yeah, <laughs> I don't know. You, you, you know what? 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 You know
for five yeah. months, girl. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Y'all say, uh, what about you the girl for five about? years? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Of course you care about that girl for five years. But how do you feel about, you know what I'm saying, that relationship that you've been with this girl for four months and that she's, she's growing a relationship with you and your friends because of that? Like or a, she or you might have met them through a friend or it's something. All about, it's all about how you, just how much no, you feel I'm about it. I'm going to feel it even. Because you will let it go even more. You know why? Because it's been four months. And you know what I'm saying? You had to invest that much time in you. Feel me? Didn't, didn't invest that much time. You right. that, I mean, saying, no, no, I mean, if it happened that quick, cool. if it happened that quick, not even talking about the time you feel, but just invest time, like time that invested. Like okay. you know, you ain't bothered that many for uh, what I'm Valentine's Day gifts and. Whoa, whoa, You ain't bought that many for Valentine's Day gifts. You almost slipped up, boy. <laughs> you ain't. You know what I mean? That's a lot of things you ain't did. So, I mean, it's... Yeah, but, I know. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Christmas only came a couple times, so it's like, you, you straight, you feel me? So, I'm, so. Not, I'm not even talking about that, though. I mean, because if you really care about it, you know Christmas might not even came up yet. If you right. really care about it, you really care about it. You know, it shouldn't have to do with the holidays. Your birthday really ain't came, man. Center. I didn't spend any money. Really, like, I'm talking about... I'm talking about... I'm talking about... <laughs> wow. Like, you spend any money. You get to your birthday. But I'm saying that okay, it's so, okay. So <laughs> I'm saying that so my for I mean, I can't I can't speak for them, Kendall. So mine would be if um if this is a girl that I just been chilling with. Mm-hmm. I'm really I'm really careful that much. I'm still trying to figure her out and I'm just chilling with her. And right. my dude be like, yo, I want her, you shoot her down, then okay, bro, go ahead. Because I ain't really had that much time invest I really don't care about her. You see what I'm saying? Birds and the bees, what's going on? What's that name? What's good, bro? What's good, yo? It, it, it is my opinion on, on the thing. Alright. Well, <laughs> you taking everything slow. I don't really mind right. too much who goes at my chick. It's just the way you wait. Kind of example. It's just the way, bro. Yeah, again, Kendall will know this is true. Mm-hmm. Kendall, one of his right hand men, Nicholas Reed. <laughs> Uh, tried to shark my man. Why? I said he was going to go. Oh, man. I, I call Nick. I call Nick all the time. I call him almost every time. I call him there. DM. I call him when she called on him. Oh, my God. Nothing was fishy. I was on everything. Oh, my God, bro. I can't believe it. All I did was smile because I knew I was going to catch those yes. <laughs> 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 Like, I'm super cool with Nick, that's my, that's my dude, but 
you can you start to look like a joke when it comes to those type situations. Oh no, I understand. I see exactly what you're saying, bro. I feel you. Uh, all right, man. Thanks all for calling, right, man. Thanks, man. <laughs> That's funny, man. He's a silly dude, man. Man, oh bro. Oh my man. gosh. That's crazy. I, bro, I was just so weak for like at that, man. But I'm saying, but I'm saying, I was man. down for a good three minutes, bro. I'm, I'm sorry. sorry. Like, I feel um, like a lot of females wouldn't understand what's going on right now because of the fact that it's from another perspective. It's saying like, you know, okay, it's not about being like territorial. It's the fact that if I know you're not gonna go anywhere. You know, then why right. really care that much? It's like what Armory was just saying. Like, you know, I know she won't want to go no more. I know I'm going to get those jets at the end of the night, boy. Exactly. Like, yeah. like, I know you come with me. You know what I'm saying? Like, for, you know, not going to name drop anything, I'm pretty sure that Kendall knew this one girl wasn't going to go anywhere else when it was that time, you know, in his life. <laughs> he just knew no matter who sharked her, she wasn't going to go anywhere. Or Randy. Or, I'm pretty sure Randy knows that right now. Yeah, boy, yeah, he's so or juicing. Who knows what he's doing in his life? Nobody ever knows. <laughs> <laughs> who knows? Nobody been on juicing. Yeah, always, man. We never know. We don't know. Corey and Corey and Randy. Randy, 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 you know what I'm saying? It's been, it's been real funny, but this whole little topic is silly. Oh, of course it's silly. I'm, I'm still laughing at what Andre said, man. Funny, he, man. He came out with the banger. I wasn't ready for it. That's hilarious. <laughs> 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 oh, my gosh. <laughs> no, it's silly, man. I did, though. <laughs> oh, man, I got to talk to my boy, man. I'm, you know, we're going um, we to go ahead and play a little bit of music real quick, man. We got to talk to our hands, man. <laughs> What's going on, bro? We're going to play a little bit of music oh, real quick, my man. God. And we're going to get back into this topic a little bit before we get that word for oh, Wednesday. No, so, no, you got some bars? No, you call it up. Oh, yeah. No, you didn't. Call it up. No, you didn't. You just threw my oh, song on here, man. You know what I'm saying? We want to see you want to hear what's going on. Oh, no. It's a herb inside the side. 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 All right, bro. Y'all know what time it is. Uh, wordplay! 9.52. Wordplay! We want, we want to get that wordplay Wednesday going on. Yes! Got the new one. Me and Randy were trying to put in some finishing to touches to what we got going on over here. That's what did. We were talking about how we want to just expand it a little bit, but we got time constraints. <laughs> but yeah, but yeah. best believe what we got is going to be fire. So we all got poems today then? Is that, is that correct? No, Randy has a rap. Randy got a rap. Okay, I got a poem. I also have a poem. You got a poem? I have a poem. You have a poem? Yeah. It's going to be a soft poetry flow going on in here. And then Randy's going to us with the bang at the rap at the end. All right, thank you. Bang. Who going first? Uh, Avery. Why do I Avery. always want to go first? Do you always go first? I always, I always go first. What you mean? I don't think so. I always go first. Go. You don't even go half the time. You go no, every time I always go first. Avery doesn't write enough. Uh, bars. Yeah, yeah, you know what to have to say. <laughs> you give us a bar like once a week. Wow. That's the mic. You're not talking to me. Nobody's talking to me. This time. You want to say you got the wrong one today. He's always got the wrong one. He's better than the other too, boy. This is just like the neighborhood all over again. I'm going to hear his words. Okay. You only put a phone. Um, I thought I would try, you know, my best at, um, you know, my best attempt at writing a love poem. I never wrote one before. So this is my first one. You guys got to bear with me. This is the JR love poem? No. This is the JR. We're this. not talking about this. JR. No. This is wet. Curtis, listen, just listen, man. Just listen. I think y'all, I think y'all really like this. Right? What's the name of the joint? It's called Endless Love. All right. Okay. And you'll see why. Endless Love. Man, can I go? Like, <laughs> there you go, man. In this still place, do we have time? Many questions remain. Will you be mine? Like, no one here, nothing even matters. Or when the shooting star zooms through the sky and the wish soon comes after? I couldn't wish for anything more. Like the rose from Tupac's story that grew from the concrete, we didn't question it, did we? My love for you was the rose petals that fell to the ground like the way I felt when I first saw you, breathtaking. I taste again and again like the dog who wants the bone so bad he'll do anything for it. We both have our feelings, so let's explore it. Don't hide it and embrace it. Never forget me and I'll never forget you. And our lives will begin with endless matrimony where our souls will intertwine into one. Let him know that. Okay, man. Yeah. 
Maybe you're the first one getting married. Maybe you're the first one getting married. I try to love more. The songs are getting intertwined into one. Did y'all like that? I'm like, what? Hey, bro, you came in with the. Hey, instead of your vows, you might as well just say that at your wedding. Yeah, I'm pretty sure my wedding is hot. You saved those joints. I'm pretty sure I got both parties in my wedding. Take a year from now when the wedding is. I'm joking. I had to drop another one. I'll make everybody cry, include my grandmother, and it'll be a great day. You know? Let's get it, man. All right. I thought the delivery was good. Yeah, wasn't so it? It's it's good. Good. Yeah, yeah. It's all about the delivery, right? Yeah, that's what it's all about. So okay. you sliding to me now? That's why you all looking at me? Yeah, look at you like this. Here's just good time. Let's <laughs> see. All right, man. Right. I mean, I, I wrote this like probably like two two minutes after we were talking about the first topic earlier, man. Like it was it. It all hit me at once. So it was like I just had to get it out of my head. But it's a soft little poem, man. I ain't got. I ain't even titled it, but it's all good. It's a crazy world from one state to another. Dead black men and teary-eyed black mothers. How long will it last? How long will it be? Until we can live in peace and true harmony. Deeper than politics, deeper than race. Is there enough love to color, cover this multitude of hate? It's hard as, it, it's hard as it is living day to day, knowing that one of my brothers can be dead and gone away. So all it is for me to do is live life and pray. Pray that me and my brothers will live to see better days. Ooh, all right, then. You just, you just can't help but to be country, can't you? Uh, yeah, just, I hear another voice every time. I he swear to God. He comes, he the comes, country comes, country comes right out of him. That's the young guy out of I Cleveland man. when he gets on the mic. It's all good, man. Did the manager ever say he was calling into us? Usually around the time. He was calling with the sex bars? I told him. He was running from Walmart. He was running from Walmart talking about sex. He was running from Walmart all the time at work. That's just what he does. He comes to sex bars. Yo, yo, what's happening? Oh, bars? Oh, <laughs> bars? Bars? Okay. Um, well done. I also, the reason I talk now and not at the end is because I also went with that topic. Uh, I remember not to, well, a couple of hours ago, somebody asked me a question and they were like, you know, what do you want? Like, I was, I was like, you know, they told me to write a poem and I was like, well, what do you want me to write about? Something that's like, what do you want? And then I went there. So, here we go. Bars? Um, <laughs> this is what I want. <laughs> I want a black man to be removed from RIP t shirts and added to billboards, not for being most wanted, but for having our own companies and enough wealth to flaunt it. I want ladies to be able to do as they choose as long as they don't think my body makes those kind of moves, and for people to realize that just because they're gay does not mean that they're looking at you in that way. I want the number one cause of infantile death not to be by a real due to lack of medical care but a survivable overdose of hugs and kisses so they know that love, that would be more fair. I want mothers not to answer to anyone if they choose to abort the little kid, and people not to judge her if they find out that she did what she did. I want life to not be a one up competition, but a group project where everybody helps everybody on their life mission. I want it not to be true that the average black high schooler graduates with the intelligence of white, of white eighth graders, or for black SAT school to be an average of 305 points less than the race we once claimed in chamber. I want African American history to be required instead of optional to take only by those who are who desire. See, when 49% of the U.S. is white, then the fact that there was only one in my class just ain't right. Finally, I want Al Sharpton to show up for the case that won't make news and Jesse Jackson to accept that all he did was stand on the porch when Martin got shot, but will never fill King's shoes. Mm. This is some of what I want. Mm. Oh man, those are those are big I was some one great things. That's crazy. Oh, that. Wow. I like I like poems where you could just where you could be taken there. Wow. Yeah, yeah, just, he, he, took, he took the shot at Jesse. He was over with. Things I want. I'm, I'm looking forward to the rest of the bars, and I will catch y'all Monday. All right, bro. All right, bro. Good luck for calling in. Those are great. Wow, man. I'm sorry, I'll be having to go after him, man. Oh man. Also, you didn't do anything with Stephen Porch, boy. Wow. Hey, he was hollering. It's time for Kendall to stop running. <laughs> All right, man. You know, I said I told y'all I made some um a poem after you know I learned about the case that we spoke of earlier. It's a long poem. It's not long actually. You hear? Here go right here. Shh. Be quiet. Hear the sound of that silence. There's two cops running here to protect us from violence. Why fear? Have no tears. They come to protect and serve. 
At least that's what I heard. I mean, ain't that what they train to do? I guess not. I mean, ain't it insane to you to just watch your TV screen and see the black man die, lead in his spine, and still hear the cops say, put your hands behind your back, freeze. You go through all that target practice and couldn't shoot one knee. Tragic, just another stat to you. I killed it. Just one less black man that you have to deal with. I guess that gun on your right make you a bit more manly. And that taser on the other side is the tattoo friendly, but psh, I'm just a black man. What can I say? All hell cops are saviors. They control judgment day. Let them listen to me, man. Just a little too friendly, man. Just a little too friendly, man. You know what I'm saying? I was feeling, I was sad when I seen that, man. When I seen that stuff earlier today, man. And, I, and it hit me. So I, I wrote a real poem, you know what I'm saying? I really don't write about real stuff until something actually sparked me. You know what I'm saying? Today I feel like I that's had to say, man. That's what it took, man. It got to wake me up, man. I'm woke now, man. I feel like I feel like your um, if I had to say anything about yours and comment on anything, at first it sounded like a rap, and then you felt like your it felt like because it felt like at first you was just reading, then it felt like your soul got into it, <laughs> and we really felt bad with you. And that's I love. <laughs> I talk, I really love I really love stuff like that, bro. Like I really yeah. still love stuff just take you there. You can imagine everything. Thanks, bro. Yeah. All right, man. Right, 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 man. Let us know what you're rap. I think I'm gonna use that mic today, man. He's gonna use the good mic. I'm gonna use the good mic. Huh? You hear your voice? Sorry, he sounds crazy. That man's trying to switch everything up. I am, man. Just for a split second. Nah, man. But hey, look, man. You ain't about to be over here grabbing a mic and whooping it. Nah, I ain't even gonna do you baby. He ain't got it. He ain't got to touch. I got to, man. Look at him. Look at my meter right here. It can't never been this hot. <laughs> nah, man. But um, wow. He's not on the same topic as theirs. You know what I'm saying? You're going to get the gist of it as I go along. Trying to stay afloat on that scholarship. Slave feet when he run, trying to dodge the whip. He got them gold chains running around his neck and dodged the whip. Sambo was picking cotton. Now he died for picks. Oh, yeah, he balling. Look at his cape. Jer Jer look at him fly. Jersey might as well be a cape. Get the point before game over. You might end up too late. Superhero, young Jesus, Earl of Pearl. You saw the movie. He got game, but it's my duty. State my plea until they sue me. All right, look, we out of here on that. Okay, we out of here on that. We'll see y'all Monday. Night. Let's get it, man. Goodbye. Everybody's going to say anything else. Say it right now. There's nothing else to be said. Hey, we going to the wars next week. We're getting yeah, the wars. Do it in it. Do it in it. We're doing it the right way. We're doing it the right way. After everybody's got to hear and just spit hot bar. No, we out of here. We're 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 Drop the joints. I, no. <laughs> wow. What's poppin'? It's Juice, Randy, Avery, and Kendall. Be sure to listen to our show, The Birds and the Bees. Live Mondays and Wednesday nights from 8 to 10 p.m. You know we talking about everything your mama left out. Now let's get back to these bangers we got for y'all right now on WHEI 88.9. Hey!